Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a quick sharing regarding some of the questions that I've been getting from people who I met basically the past few months, especially my clients, whether it's a seller or it's a purchaser. And of course, I do get the same question from my fellow colleagues from other agencies as well, how I do these videos in this YouTube channel. So for those who are new to this channel, I'm Chester Cheng and this is my real estate channel. Let's go. Now, before we begin, according to the YouTube analysis, I am surprised to find out that 90% of the audience that are watching this channel is still unsubscribed yet. I appreciate if you can take a few seconds of your time to click on to the subscribe button and also click on to the bell icon so you won't miss all my future uploads. And if you're watching this video from other social media networks, you can find my channel in the YouTube search bar by typing Chester Chang Real Estate. I'm back in my studio. This is the same area where I did my first podcast with Mr. Raj. If you did not catch that podcast video, I'll share right up here and also in the description box below. So you guys can check out the sharing session with Mr. Raj. All right, let's go into the topic of this video, right? So the main question I'm getting from some of you guys is uh, actually quite a lot especially from my clients who I, I met, whether it's a vendor, which is a seller, or from the purchaser itself, how I do this video, uh, what makes me interested to do all this video, and why waste so much time to actually do this video, especially coming from fellow agents like myself, uh, negotiators, we call ourselves, like, oh, wait, was that wasting time? Why do I need to do so much things to complicate the entire job of a real estate negotiators? or aka agents. Well first let's go into the client asking the question whether it's from the seller or it's from the purchaser. Because to be frank some of them asking uh, who do I pay, how much did I pay invest to do this video. Well technically my cost is zero. Yeah nothing. So that pretty much I spend my own time doing the video recording. So when I'm talking especially doing house to my wife or sometimes very rarely my daughter will help me uh, hold the camera so as I walk in and take a tour so my wife will just follow me and tag along and you know record the entire journey so in certain cases where you see the scene where it's empty without me physically there so that scene uh, mostly taken by me so I did two rounds of video one is taking a tour physically shooting every seen in every location example the car porch the living room the dining room so each area i normally record up to five sometimes up to ten times just to get the right shot well i'm not a professional actor so i have to do more shots to get it right well i'm still learning as the time goes probably i'll get better maybe i write a script well to be frank some of the feedbacks i got that i should write a script but um Maybe not this time. I'm not a professional actor or even a part-time actor. So if I read from a script, I probably will be more robotic. So I prefer more natural. So in fact, all of my video households are unscripted. So as when I look into the property, I gaze and do a 360. So example, if I go into a, to a house and I, I need to present, example, the living room or the dining area, or the kitchen so i will do a 360 and i will memorize what i need to say so it's like i'm taking the camera which is you guys as my physical viewer coming in so that's how i normally present to my clients but of course in video we can edit but in real life uh, it will be more organic i suppose so now the second question normally they ask is how long do i take to shoot the video on site well physically it takes me approximately hmm, three to four hours yeah on for a double story terrace house yeah it, it does take that long uh, because I, I i only have one chance to shoot the video if it's if it, the unit is uh, occupied so i cannot be coming in and tell the owner hey i'm back again or the tenant hey i'm back again i need to reshoot no you only got one shot so you make sure you get it right if you need three hours you shoot three hours if you need four hours you have to shoot four hours unless the house is vacant then i can uh, revisit and um, if I have the keys, I revisit and reshoot, but I try not to do that. So, so if like a big semi days like you see in Kingsley or in Marvelin, those take five hours, sometimes five and a half hours. I need to do the physical shoot, acting, sort of, and yeah, I did a, do a drone shot. So yeah, it's quite extensive in terms of uh, man hours. And I always try to do it on the same day. So I don't want to come back here because it's very hot and very tiring because most of the houses which are vacant, they don't have electricity and uh, 
I can't turn off the air condition, I can't turn on the fan. So it's very humid. So most of the time, I'm sweating. That's the reason why I wear dark color clothes so you don't really see my, my sweat really revealing on the camera. Uh, it's quite messy. So what happens after the video shoot? Well, you got to edit the entire uh, video. How long does it take? That's a question that uh, people ask me. So some of them may think, hey, where is he? You just do the shoot, you just upload the thing. Uh, no, uh, I mean, you can, if you want it to be a one entire long clip of just walking around, talking uh, like a, a vlog or what they call a POV, point of view. You can do that, but I prefer my videos to be more accurate. I don't want it to be jumping here and there, then the client will get dizzy looking at it. I'll give you a few examples uh, how most people do videos, especially in Malaysia. Uh, it's quite funny. So because I'm receiving a lot of complaints, I would say complaints or feedback from especially the purchaser, some vendors themselves, they, they watch other agents to do very simple videos for their the property they are trying to market. So they told me upfront, they got headache watching the video because uh, number one, they did not buy any gimbal. So when they are walking with a camera, the entire camera shakes, you know. So gimbal is like a three axis. It helps the camera to stabilize. And um, yeah, this is one of the things that uh, probably those agents who want to take video need to consider investing. It's not that expensive, guys. Especially if you're selling a million dollar property. So what is a couple thousand, guys? Spend the money. Okay, anyhow, these are for the agents. Uh, probably I'll share with you the difference between the type of video that most of the agents are uploading in the YouTube so you guys can see the difference and I will elaborate more on that in the next video. And let's get back to the editing part, how many man hours I need to spend to edit a video. Example for Terrace House, if I shoot a like 4 hours video, it will take approximately 12 to 16 hours approximately to complete the entire video edit. And if I take a big semi-D like in Kingsley, Marvelin, those will take even longer. Sometimes up to 24 hours. I'm not talking about 24 hours like in, you know, like you sleep, you're not working, the video will start edit itself. No, I'm talking about physically sitting down in front of the computer to do the edit, to complete the entire video. Yeah, of course, when I first started, it takes longer than that. I take about 36 hours, sometimes up to 48 hours to complete a video. But now as I progress, my skills, of course, has improved also. A lot become muscle memory. So for me, it gets easier over time. So I have cut short a lot of the video editing. Reason is because I familiarize myself with lots of functions and I wouldn't say I'm good at it. I get better at it as time goes by. So certain things I've created a template for my video so I can incorporate into my video easier. So like the 16 to 24 hours doing physical edit doesn't sound like a lot of work, but I can tell you my job is not only doing the video edit. So I spend most of my daytime you know, doing a calling. I follow up my clients, either the seller or other purchaser. I update them on the situation. I call the purchaser whether they make an offer. So I also do a lot of this work. Sometimes I will go out. In most cases, I will be out on the daytime doing physical viewing or getting listings. So that's the thing I do on the daytime. So I also meet a lot of my teammates, which I have to do because I am a team manager. So I have a large team which I need to manage. And um, I won't say physically manage daily, but I do catch up with them on on a weekly basis or monthly basis because there's quite a number of them so I try to meet them as often as I'm available so most of my video edits I will do it towards the night time when I'm back from the office or outdoor so I will spend uh, probably one day I'll spend three hours or four hours if I have the time sometimes I work up to two in the morning just to speed up the editing process so by that you can actually calculate uh, the time i need to produce one video which takes about four to five days that's why you see on my youtube channel most of my videos are within five on average five to six days you will release a brand new video especially when it comes to the house tour video so like this type of video which i'm talking to you now is a much more simpler edit there's not much effects there's less editing involved so it takes like two hours max 
I will complete the entire video edit. So as for the last part, some of the agents have asked me why I spend so much time doing this video. Will it help in terms of my sales or my marketing? Well, to be fair with you guys, in terms of sales, not so much yet. However, in marketing and exposure and branding, it does help a lot. This, I have to tell you upfront, whether you trust me or not, up to you. Well, the reason why I do it is because I felt that's a necessity. It's not like I have an option or the most important one is it is a matter of time. Whether I start it now or I do it five years down the road, either way, I have to do it. So if I start it now, I get myself familiarized. Probably in five years' time, where everybody jump into that bandwagon, I'm really at level 100. Maybe God, God level. I don't know. It could be that. So I'd rather start now, early, and get myself familiarized with it, rather than start five years down ahead, where I may be very well behind those uh, younger agents who they are much more faster in terms of video adaptation. So right now, I, I see there's a void. That's why I'm exposing myself to it. So it create a very good branding since I'm one of the few uh, agents who are advertising on YouTube. There's barely any agents doing marketing in YouTube. You can catch lots of agents advertising Muda, iProperty, Property Guru, and probably most of the social media like Facebook, but not at YouTube. Because as YouTube, you need to produce a better content to the, for the purchaser to actually catch their attention. So that pretty much wraps up what I'm going to say in this video. For those who have any questions or suggestions, do write in the comment box below. And yeah, do for those who have house who wants me to do any marketing, uh, do call me, WhatsApp or call me. And those are in same industry like me in the real estate, yeah, do the same. Call me. Maybe we can work something out. We discuss if you want to be part of my team. Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't matter. No obligation.